Hi, this is Bill Kristen, the head instructor over the Climber School of Real Estate in Orlando, Florida, and welcome to our YouTube channel. The videos that we're going to do are going to be math videos for questions you could possibly see on your state exam. The first bit of math questions that we're going to do are actually found on our website. They're going to be practice questions that we actually have on the website. So it's going to be questions 1 through 10 uh, that are math questions from our website itself. And then we're going to do uh, practice questions on a practice exam that's also on our website. So you can follow along as I break these questions down piece by piece. So sit back and enjoy, and good luck on your state exam. We're pulling for you, and don't be afraid of those math questions. If you do uh, what we show you how to do these things, uh, you should be uh, in good shape when you get ready to take your state exam. So again, welcome and enjoy. Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss how to calculate buildable lots in a question. All right, folks, question number one says a parcel contains 38 acres. 20% of the land must be set aside for common areas and parks. Another 500 by 30 feet is for street, and each lot will be at least 9,000 square feet. So how many lots can the developer create to sell? Now, how I like to describe this is a builder or developer takes a big piece of land and turns it into small pieces of land so they can build houses on it. And that's really what we're looking at. So I always write down what they give me and what are they asking for. So in this case, we have certain numbers that are really important to remember. And one of them is 43,560. 43,560 square feet in an acre. Very important because that's going to be a factor, a number that you need to know to figure this question out. Now there's certain ways that we remember that. Could be four old people driving 35 in a 60. That's one way to remember it. Well, first I'm going to do is I'm going to find out how many total square feet do we have to work with? Because that 43,560 is going to be the number that I need to remember. So 43,560 square feet in an acre. So that's going to give me 1,655,280 total square feet. So that's how big that piece of land is. Now we got to break it down and take some of that out for common areas and parks and a street. See how much we got to build with. So here it goes. So 20% it says is going to be used for common areas. So I'm going to take this 1,655,280 square feet and I'm going to multiply that times 0.80. Now it's times 0 0.80 because they told me that 20% is going to be used. So I've got 80% left to build on at this point. So that gives me a total of 1 million, 1 million, 324,224 square feet. But that's not all, folks. That is not all because they said we had a street that's going to be 500 by 30 feet big, that's 15,000 square feet right there. So we have to take that 1 million, I'm going to do this, I'm going to take that 1 million, 324, 224, and I'm going to take out that 15,000 square feet for the street. Now that's going to give me the total square feet that I've got to build these houses on. So that comes out to 1,309,224. So that's my usable square feet. So now I've taken that big piece of land and I've turned it into smaller pieces of land. Now it tells me here that each lot could be 9,000 square feet. So I've got 1,309,224 square feet to work with. And they tell me that each one's going to be 9,000 square feet. So I'm going to take this and divide this, divided by 9,000. And if you put that in your calculator, that comes up with 145.7. I'm sorry, 47. And so you can just round that to 145 lots. 145 buildable lots. 
and there we go. So we take that big piece of land, we turn it into smaller pieces of land, and then we got we can build 145 lots on that property. All right, so good luck, and check out our next video. That's going to be the bin question, which is similar to this, taking big pieces of stuff and turning it into small pieces of stuff. So thanks, stay tuned, and enjoy.